Hey guys, today on The Stay at Home Chef we're making herbed butter mashed potatoes. For this recipe we'll need three pounds of russet potatoes, and yes, they have to be russets, four cups of chicken broth, half a cup of butter, two cloves of garlic, a teaspoon of dried basil, a teaspoon of dried fennel, half a cup of buttermilk, four ounces of cream cheese, one and a half teaspoon salt, three tablespoons sliced chives, and freshly ground black pepper. First you'll need to peel your potatoes. I like to peel mine over a paper towel to make cleanup just a little bit easier. I mean look at that, totally easy. Next you'll need to cut your potatoes into rough chunks. Don't worry about getting them perfectly even on the sides, just get it close so they'll cook evenly. Toss those chunks into a large saucepan and then pour your chicken broth over it. The chicken broth should barely cover the potatoes and that's fine. Put the saucepan on the stove and bring the potatoes to a boil. You'll want to simmer the potatoes until they're tender, which should take about 15 minutes. While those are cooking, we'll melt half of our butter in a small saucepan over medium-low heat. I'm going to use a garlic press to get my garlic in there because it is just way easier. Then add the basil and the fennel. Give it a little swirl, let the flavors come out. Then pour in your buttermilk and let it heat through. Our potatoes are done, so we'll go ahead and drain them. I'm going to put the cream cheese into a big mixing bowl and then cover it with the potatoes. A hand mixer is great for creating a smoother texture. We'll pour our buttermilk mixture in there, add some salt, and keep on mixing. Once they're done, we can just scoop them into a serving dish. Now we're going to take the rest of our butter and melt it in the microwave. While it's melting, we'll slice up some chives. Sprinkle the chives into the melted butter and then pour it over the potatoes. Don't those look so indulgent? I can't wait to dig in. So creamy and delicious, buttery, just a hint of garlic and the herbs. It's a fantastic combination. You're going to love this one. If you like the video, let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. It's free for you and it helps me out a lot. And don't forget to check out my website, www.thestayathomechef.com for more great recipes and the full recipe for these. Until next time.